I'm using some uh, craft scissors. Now you can use normal scissors, but it's easier to cut through like the ribbon and like if you've got fate leather especially, it's going to be easier to just use craft and material scissors. So I have got my uh, PVA glue because I'm clearly not cool enough to own a hot glue gun. So uh, yeah, it works just as good. It just takes a lot longer to dry. That's all. So if you've got a hot glue gun, use it, it'll be a lot easier, but I'm not cool enough to own one. So this yeah. is the um, fake leather I'm using, I don't even know whether it's fake or not, either way. This is the leather I'm using for the bridle, to make it look more effective, but you can use ribbon if you want, if you don't have any leather, but I have a confession. This isn't actually like, I don't have a proper sheet of leather from a craft shop, it's um, from a carpet. <laughs> It's like owning your own craft shop, so you can just pull it out of the carpet and no one knows. But yeah, I like this because it's it doesn't it might not wear off the paint because it's fluffy on this side, leather on that side, and we have assorted colours too. So that's always good. So you either need some ribbon or whatever material you really want to waste it with. We're also gonna need some jump rings. I only have two here, but I've got some more behind me. But yeah, the jump rings are for the things like connecting the reins on, things like that. Um, yeah, if you don't have any jump rings, you can just get a paper clip and twist them around into a circle. Now, they won't be perfect circles like these, but it's all about handmade anyway, so yeah, you're going to need some of that. want a bray horse, there's no point in making a bridle for a bray horse when a... You don't have a bray horse, so yeah, get one of them. Preferably one that's easier to make a bridle for, because this one's forelock is in the way of where the um, brow band should go, so I'm not using this one, also named Comanche, so yeah. Okay, so the first bit that um, we're going to make is the brow band, which is this bit that goes across here, like that. So, basically you're going to take your ribbon, leather, or whatever you want to call it, I don't, I don't know, and cut it about, so you've got your horse like that, so you've got the brow band like that, so that it's about just past the thick bit of its face there, like that on either side because then that gives you the chance to loop it round and then you wanna, this one's too thick so you wanna gonna, wanna gonna, yeah so you're <laughs> going to want to cut that in half there to make it thinner for the brow band so I'm just cutting it in half so that it's thinner can see now that's a lot thinner, even though it's wonky. Oh dear. Um, still want that a bit thinner, maybe this size. Yeah, this size works a lot better. Right, so if we cut this here, and there is the start of your brow band, like that. Okay, so you've got to loop it either end so that then other things can go through it like the cheap pieces and stuff like that. So if you loop it like that, but make sure that when you loop it it's thick enough for the other bits of leather to go through it. So you want to do that both sides. You've got your brow band here. So you turn it onto the back side and then just glue the tip. Now you don't need a lot, even though this glue isn't coming out. Okay, so if you just glue the tip like like that and then fold it over too not too far 
like that. Make sure you have got a loop. Now, pegs can really help when you're doing this because they can help peg things in place while um, they're drying to stop them like popping open and stuff. So I'm going to go fetch some pegs. I couldn't find any pegs because my mum, it's been snowing so my mum's probably put them away. Um, but I found some bubble wrap so that's, that's always fun. Um, but instead I'm just going to use some grips which will probably be better when you think about it because it's thinner. Um, yeah, I've just called them grips because I'm English. I don't know whether American people call them bobby pins or slides or whatever. These curved metal hair thingies. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take it on this and then grip it down like that and then that stops it from popping open. And I don't know whether my face is going to be on this video or not, I hope not, but I haven't brushed my hair yet because it's like 10 in the morning and um, my hair's awful, but yeah. So you want to repeat that on the other side. So, okay. So I've just been searching for about 10 minutes for a piece that is long enough. Because I usually do the rings about 30 centimetres, but all I could find was this long. Now, it's not very straight, obviously, but this is how long they are. Like that. Now, I think they sit quite nicely on the horse, but if you want to do longer, you can do longer. I usually have them about, I don't know, round usually have them so that they droop quite well um but yeah these are sh these can be shorter reins so you've got your reins what you're going you to take do your jump ring like that and then just feed it on to your reins and do it about mm, two and a half centimetres down, that's where I've done it, but two centimetres is fine, I'm not going to shoot you if you don't. And then because this is quite thick, I have to sort of fold it to make sure that it's not bulging, and then jump is at the end. So you're going to put a dab of glue on the end here, just move that, so put a dab of glue on the end. Like that. Fold it over to wherever. Like that. Get your grip. Slide that on. I always open it quite big before I put it on because I don't want to slide it on and then it like just push it out of the way. So if you open it quite big and then literally just place it on, then I find that that works quite well. So you've got that that end like that with your loop and your jump ring on the end. Now you've got to do pretty much exactly the same to the other side. You should have your brow band like this and your reins with the two jump rings on the end there. That one slip down and there. Okay. So after you've done your brow band and your reins, you're gonna want to get another piece. Now this is gonna be the cheek piece and the headband. Now it should go, it goes from the top and then down and you want to have it a little bit longer because you need to, this is where it connects into the jump rings for the reins. Now this bit, I'm not going to say um, a certain length because it depends what um, brayer model you have because some have different size heads and stuff like that so just make sure it goes 
tightly round your horse's head, round its cheeks, and you've got about one centimetre down there so that you can fold it over nicely. Next, you're going to connect the cheek pieces with the brow band that you made earlier, which should be like this. Now, I'm just going to snip this larger bit off here to make it look a little bit neater. Now, you don't have to do that. It's just to make it neater. Okay. So, take one end, make sure that it's the right way on both of them. Make sure there's no twists. Just flatten it out. Thread it through. Like that. Get the other side. Make sure, yet, like, yet again, that it's not twisted. Thread it through. It should look a little bit like this. So what I like to do with that piece is I like to slip it on my horse's head and check whether the space is big enough for my horse's ears because sometimes it can be like halfway down its face like that. Make sure it's centre on and slip it up either side. Pull your cheek pieces down. Check whether it's fitting right. And as you can see, the brow band is fitting pretty nicely. Next, you're going to want to put your reins here onto your cheek piece and brow band. Now, basically, what you have to do is take this, your cheek pieces, and thread them through the buckle on the um, on the ju through the jump ring on the reins like that quite tricky if you've got thick material like me and then a really small jump ring but possible make sure that you don't make your, if you are making your own jump rings make sure you don't make your jump rings too small so that you can't fit two pieces of material through them otherwise your bridle's just not going to work now test that against the horse's face quickly like that that looks just about right. Now, keep that in place. Dab some glue on the end. I'm running out of glue, but you know. Like that. Fold it over. Keep it in place. Grab your grip. Grip that down there. After that, you're going to want to take the other side, pull your reins, and do exactly the same on the other side. Make sure that your reins are not twisted. So just get them along, smooth them round all the way till you get here, and then I always fold it inwards so that you don't have it like the fold outwards so that you can't see it so if you fold it inwards it looks just gives like a neater look now I'm going to hold that there and test that on my horse you won't be able to see this but I'm just going to quickly test that on my horse to see whether that's about right yep so yet again put the glue on the end, there, fold it over, press it down, get your grip, slide it on, there. So, so far it should look a little bit like this, with your brow band, your cheek pieces and your rings. If you've noticed my rings are a different colour. Yours don't have to be, I just think it After looks the part of your bridle that you've made is done drying, we're going to make the nose band. Now, what I did beforehand was measure. Now, I'm doing it sort of like a dropped nose band. I'm not sure. Wherever. Um, I've measured it to fit 
round the nose about here. And I've had it I've had it thicker than the cheek pieces, but not too thick. Next you've got to thread your nose band through the loops of your cheek pieces. I find it easy to put it on my horse at this bit. This is gonna be really hard to record it, but yeah. If the hole isn't like thick enough here, like you can see here it's not very thick, I always find it easiest. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to grow this. I always find it easiest to just shove a grip through the hole to like open it up. So I've threaded through one side. Now you're going to take it round and thread it, through, it through. It should look something like this. Basically a big oval with two lines across it. And then when you put it on, it should go like this. Now, some people do it. Ah, uh, that's just come undone. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Some people do it with buckles underneath the nose band, but I just stick it usually um, because I have run out of paper clips at the moment. But yeah, to go ahead and stick that together. So underneath. after all of that's dried, you should have something looking a little bit like this: with the headband, the brow band, the nose band, and the reins. The reins are a little short, but you can make them whatever length you want. After this, the only thing to put on now is the throat lash. So all you need to do is thread that through the loop of the brow band, back round. So I've threaded this through one side, and then you just have to thread it back through there. Once your bridle's on, it should look like this. And then all you need to do now is get the two pieces either side. Get them like that. Make sure they're not too tight, otherwise you won't be able to get them round your horse when you take it off. Cut them and glue them together. Once your bridle's done, it should look pretty much like this.